Do you sometimes feel like a passenger on your own bus? A coaching conversation can get you back in the driver's seat with strategies and tactics that feel honest for you. Fundamental to this process is learning to coach your team. Otherwise, what are your options? Micromanage? Disengage? Either way, I don't expect you'd be too happy with the results. Hi, I'm Sandra Beckor, Practice Management Coach at Beckor Management. I help lawyers, architects, consultants, and other professionals realize their potential by pursuing the right possibilities. If you are a firm owner or practice manager looking to improve productivity, here are my top five ways for you to coach your team to win. Number one, stop making assumptions, start asking questions. When something goes really wrong, it's really easy to jump to conclusions. Missed deadline, angry client, errors on a final submission. Stop yourself. Rather than jumping to conclusions about who did what, replace that knee-jerk reaction with curiosity. Curiosity about what you don't know and listen openly to the answers. You may be surprised about what you find. Number two, be present so that they can too. Going from meeting to meeting, deadline to deadline can sometimes feel frenetic. If it feels that way for you, imagine how your team feels. What if you were to turn it off between activities? Imagine taking a few quiet breaths <laughs> before your next phone call. If you are feeling calm and collected, the person at the other end of the line will feel that too. Number three, listen more than you speak. You know the old adage, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak? If you regularly and actively listen to your team rather than talking over them or at them, you will gain influence. Your team will feel appreciated, respected, and understood. That's the power of connection. Number four, give feedback and ask for it. If the only time that your team receives feedback is at the annual performance review, they will be coming to their own judgments about how they're doing. They may be right, they may be wrong. That's problematic. As well, there's so much lost opportunity to nudge them closer to their goals and yours with more frequent discussions along the way. Number five, motivate each individual as an individual. Every individual on your team brings their own set of goals to the table. It's your job to find out what they are. And yes, we all want more money and more time, but that's not the whole picture. People also want to use their skills to learn, to collaborate, to problem solve, to feel autonomous, and to enjoy a sense of mastery. The closer that you get to each individual's truth, the closer that you get to driving powerful productivity.